Hello everybody, welcome to another video and today I want to talk about my new book You Are The Power which will give you back the power in your life. It starts off by talking about the education system and how really it was an indoctrination system, well it is an indoctrination system for the kids to get reliant on authority for the future. Okay, they learn to follow someone else's rules of how to live life. But not only that, they follow someone else's narrative. They learn false narratives. And from a young age, if that's all they know, that will then shape their perceptions on life. And how powerful is that? And that's what they, exactly what they were trying to do when they wiped out the, indigen the indigenous people in America. The schools targeted, they went to the houses of the indigenous people and they forced the kids to go to these education places when they already knew everything. They knew the truth about nature. They lived in peace and harmony with the natural world. But the Western society wouldn't have that. They took the kids and they indoctrinated them. And their lives weren't the same again. They were changed people. Nature is already is the truth. Okay, The education system takes the truth and makes a story. A story which then affects all our lives. Every single one of us. But only if you let it. Okay, look at us working nine to five jobs. We have to, you know, people paying, paying other people every single day, bills, mortgages, working hard to then only just to pay mortgages, which feeds the system even more. Even more. We go to an education system, which just gives us false narratives. We ev all our lives evolve around this fake illusionary society distant from nature. Every single bit of this society harms the natural world. Okay. The natural world is the only truth. Just think about it. The trees and the animals, they do not go to schools. They already know exactly how to live their life. A tree is the perfect tree. You cannot teach it to be a better tree. It already knows how to be a perfect tree. It knows how to grow, to move itself towards the sunlight, to grow further. It knows how to reproduce leaves every season. It knows how to house um, insects, per so it's, you know, the insects then feed off the tree and house millions of other ecosystems in the tree. It knows exactly when the seasons end and when they finish to start the reprocess of the, of the leaves. The animals know when to fight, when to mate, when to relax in the seasons, but they don't have a clock. They're not taught the time, but they feel because nature doesn't make mistakes and it knows exactly what the truth is natural truth, natural principles, which humans have lost every single one of the natural innate senses, which there are probably around 60 known natural senses. We're working with five. That's what humans work with. And I don't even think people really take notice of them five. They walk around, walk around on autopilot. They're not even taking notice of what they see. And sight is just one of the 60 senses. So think about how distant we've gone from the natural world. And that goes back to my book in the education system, when the education system targeted our perceptions, targeted our way of life, and made, us, made this society into, the, into the, society, the real life we see today. Then my book gravitates towards back to basics, which is all about going back to basics, literally, to starting from scratch, to learning stuff from scratch again, to, make, to allow our knowledge to be the same as the natural world. Because we're meant to be a we're meant to be an evolved consciousness as humans, more than the natural, more than the other animals. But we're at the moment we're much lower. Only the people that are awake and feel the senses are on the same level or higher than the than the animals, and the rest of nature. We need to be in tune and feel the same as the natural world, which is innate knowledge. It's not taught. It's, everything's perfect. The bees need the flowers. The flowers need the bees. The trees hold the species on the on the tree, which then the which then all of the other organisms feed off the even smaller organisms. The birds eat the worm. The bigger birds eat the the little birds. Everything's perfect in nature, and it works to perfection. Everything, every little thing senses every little thing. The leaves sense the sunlight, the the heat, the temperature, the soil. The worms come up at exactly the right time. They're just little worms you'd never think they would know, but they do. They know more than most humans, the majority. Just think about that. Everything is perfect. And that's what my book is based on. It's back to basics, back to knowing yourself. 
and how we as humans can evolve into that higher consciousness we're meant to be. Then it goes to law, and the, the thing about law is, it's, it's based on natural law principles, which is do no harm, loss, deceit, or damage to self or property. And that's where everyone has gone far off track now with these mandates and legislation, bills that you have to go to your fake name, an illusionary society, a circle of just pain that people are going through with this illusionary state that we find ourselves in. And, um, and we, it needs to end, we need to go back to that law. I can't explain too much about the law now because it's not going to be a too long of a video, but that's why you need to get the book and it will explain the law to perfection and how to use it to face these tyrannical mandates, which are not law. Then the book goes towards fitness and how, how we've been conned with that and how something as amazing as the human body has been forced to do things it doesn't want to do, eat things it doesn't want to eat, it needs to be. It needs to move. It needs to work. But it needs to relax. It needs to eat the right foods. You know to nourish itself. And my book will talk much more about that. Has a huge chapter on health, and I've done loads of videos about health. And you know you should know my thoughts on health if you watch my other videos about health and uh, disease and sickness don't exist. And it's just healing responses of the body. It shows exactly how you can heal your illnesses, how to improve your life every single day. How to feel, how to feel the magic around you, how to become a better human every single day, healing yourself and getting physi more physically capable, mentally capable, and spiritually capable every single day. And then I gravitate towards talking about the illusionary society. I talk about the elite controllers controlling the illusionary society. And then I go on to talk about old world architecture and the advanced civilization of the past, the free energy. But then it's the end chapters that will give you the most inspiration. The chapters on the Great Awakening and the time that we find ourselves in now and the time that we are going into, which is a huge time and energetic shift. So buy that book, change your life. Okay? I did this book for other people. It's not to make money. You know, obviously, I would love that to be my, my job. But if there was a society that came and said, okay, you're a baker, you give me bread in exchange for my book. I will take that any day. My book means more to me than money. But obviously, I have to pay printing costs for Amazon, therefore I have to make you know make people pay, unless I'll be a loss. So it's the way it works at the moment, but we have to change that, and it starts by reading my book. Change your life around now. Not tomorrow, now.